You're watching the station that's working for you. Now, WMAR 2 News at 11. Thanks for joining us at 11 tonight. I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. A father and son are dead tonight in a murder-suicide. Dad was killed at a hospital in Glen Burnie. And son was found dead 20 minutes away near the Patapsco State Park. WMAR 2 News' Ray Strickland is live at the University of Maryland, Baltimore, Washington Medical Center tonight. He joins us with the latest details. Ray, what'd you find out? Yeah, Kelly, police tell us the victim in this shooting was here visiting his wife in the hospital when he and his son got into some type of dispute in the parking lot you see behind me. That's when the son shot his father multiple times. He then fled the scene and was later found dead in Baltimore County. Crime scene tape surrounds the Baltimore Washington Medical Center parking lot after a 40 year old man was shot and killed outside of the hospital. The victim identified as Kentrell McEachern Sr. from Baltimore City. He had multiple gunshot wounds to the torso and, and then we believe one to the head. The shooter has been confirmed as the victim's son. He's been identified as 24-year-old Kentrell McEachern Jr. And Arundel County police say the shooting happened around 5.30 p.m. That's when investigators say the victim's son confronted his father, leading to a dispute between the two and ending with the son shooting and killing McEachern Sr. Lieutenant Glenn Shanahan with the Anne Arundel County Police says the victim was at the hospital to visit his wife. Yeah, this is something that we wouldn't expect to happen on the parking lot of a hospital. It's uh, just goes to show you domestic incidents or family matters can uh, escalate and uh, we're just lucky that, that no one else was injured in this. Police also confirmed after the victim's son fled the scene, he was later found dead on Viaduct Avenue and Woodlawn Road in Baltimore County from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. And there's still a lot of questions about this incident that we hope to get answered as this investigation continues. But one thing we do know for sure tonight is that this is a true tragedy here in Anne Arundel County, where one family is now mourning the loss of two of their loved ones. Reporting live in Glen Burnie tonight, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.